Hey guys, I'm Jerry Mitchell. Like I've got a 610 revolver, Smith & Wesson stainless steel end frame, 10 millimeter revolver. And what I'm gonna show you is the way I would shoot it double action. And it kind of depends on how fast I want to shoot it. So this power level of a handgun is gonna need some control to keep it on target if you're gonna shoot rapid fire. So what I try to do when I grasp a revolver is to always grab it as high as you possibly can. What I'm trying to do is get the barrel down as low as I can in the center line of my hand. So I'm gonna grab it about right here. But with my support hand, what I'm trying to do here, I'm gonna wrap my thumbs. My hands are rather large. So I'm gonna wrap my thumbs, but I'm really squeezing in on the bottom of the handgun on this revolver really hard. I'm trying to make a platform to when it recoils, it's not gonna slip through my grip on the bottom. Because when it shoots, I don't want it to do this because it's not on target. So I'm gonna really put a lot of effort and work in the bottom of the grip with both hands as much as I can. And another feature that you'll see when I shoot is my elbows are pretty well parallel to the ground. And what I'm trying to do is not make a pivot point. If I'm under the gun, I've got a pivot point that it can pivot. So when the elbows are out, the more they are out, the less pivot is just gonna come straight back and it's gonna return into the target zone a little bit quicker. So use the bottom of the trigger when you shoot double action, get away from the hinge pin, try to make it as long of a lever as you possibly can. So I'm gonna use the bottom of the trigger, double action, hold it tight, and let's just make a couple of shots here. So, smooth double action pull, use the bottom of the grip as much as you can, nothing to it. <laughs> 